the technology. You can't, you cannot penetrate a field like that. So I imagine that's, I know it's all science fiction, but science fiction turns into science fact. If you have real force fields around aircraft and battleships, you, you Oh win. my God, look, they're you all, they're all hugging each other. I just now noticed and, it. Uh, like I said, there's so much more to the story when I was first there. Um, there were Russian scientists at this point. That was, this was early on in the project. So this was before Operation Paper Clip. This is the dead dad. I would imagine. He's an old school days. man. When did that, was that? This guy is old with some dusty yeah, I, ass. I so it's See, like somehow he came through. Was that Russia, not Germany? Dropped off a miracle yeah, load. Bang! Russian scientists, a lot of them came from Germany. A lot of those, okay. those rocket scientists that worked with NASA, they all came from Nazi scientists. Got it. So some Russians got some of them. I just know some it, of them. It, at some point there was intense cooperation. With I mean, even exchanging some ideas on nuclear weapons and you know EMP tests and stuff like things mm -hmm. we would never have discussed with them. But at the same time, it was in the late 80s. Uh, they were involved and actually in the area at S4 with us. So and you got to communicate with these guys or you saw them? No, I knew they were there. Barry, Barry would talk about the commies that were there. The commies? Yeah, the commies. And um, 